All right, how do you apply 46-0-0 urea? I think that's the question I get more than any other. This is a nitrogen-only lawn. I don't apply any potassium. I don't apply any phosphorus. I'm not aiming for the grass blade. I'm aiming for the soil. So I want the largest droplet possible. I like a TTI 11004 spray tip. And the sprayer I normally recommend is a Flowzone Cyclone backpack sprayer. Make sure there's an eye in the part number, TTI. So sometimes if you search Amazon for that, it will give you a TT11004, and that's not as coarse of a droplet size, not as ideal for a soil application. So the reason I like a soil application, uh, YouTubers will generally tell you to do about 0.2 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet, but I want to apply less often and not be spraying all the time. So I'm doing more like, you know, a half pound application is typical. When the sun's really out, I might go up to about three quarters of a pound of nitrogen. Uh, this has been watered twice so far this year, just because it's young grass. I'm not expecting the same drought tolerance as an established lawn. So last year I watered eight times. This year, so far I've already watered twice and it's only May. Last time my first watering was July. Dissolve it in water and spray it. You've got three different options for how you do it without messing up. The only way to mess up to summarize why we're doing what we're doing is if you leave it on the grass blade in too high of a concentration, that is what can kill grass or at least give you tip burn. Not likely to kill the grass, but it'd give you tip burn at least, and it could burn it pretty bad if you really mess up. So don't leave too high of a concentration of salt on the grass blades. That's the, that's the golden rule here. That's all we're trying to do. So the options for doing that I like to apply in light rain, so I apply almost exclusively when it's raining lightly. So I'll apply urea once a month and normally right around the 1st. So if it's raining on the 28th or the 29th, I'm going to be applying it that day. If it's raining on the 3rd or the 4th, it hasn't rained for a while, I'll generally apply that day. If it's just no rain in sight, I might apply it and that gives me option number two. I can apply it at any concentration I want as long as I immediately rinse the grass off after application. So all I'm trying to do is wash it into the soil. Uh, you can water it in with 0.2 inches of water. That's totally fine. You really don't need to water in more than that to prevent it from volatizing. If you don't water it in at all, you can expect it to volatize from about 14% up to roughly 30% or possibly even more. But I think it's more like 14% is typical. And if you water it in with 0.2 inches of water, more like 4% volatization is typical for urea. You can water it in or just rinse it off either way. If you want to really get your money out of it, you can give it 0.2 inches of water, totally fine. After that, the third option you have to prevent the urea from burning your grass and giving you tip burn. You need to have enough water in that tank to prevent it from desiccating your grass. What that equates to, if you do apply the DEF, it's gonna be three quarters of a gallon per pound of DEF. With urea, you're gonna to wanna to do two gallons of water if you don't wanna rinse it off or apply in light rain. So that's your third option for not getting tip burn. So just basically keep the salt concentration low enough right in the tank. If Supertech from Walmart, is about double the price of urea. Don't let people tell you it's cheaper because it's not. Uh, the only way it's cheaper is if you're shipping urea, but if you get urea locally, uh, Def Supertech, even when you get it at Walmart and it's you know $9 per two and a half gallons rather than 14, I think at Costco or pretty much anywhere else for the two and a half gallon jug, it equates to roughly double the price of urea per pound of nitrogen. One pound of Def is 15% nitrogen, so 0.15 pounds of nitrogen per pound of Def and urea is 0.46 pounds of nitrogen uh, per pound. So if your salt concentration is about 0.2 pounds of nitrogen per gallon, you're good with urea. With uh, higher salt index fertilizers like ammonium sulfate, you're gonna need to do even more water. So this gets pretty burdensome if you have land. You've got an acre of land and you need to dilute the salt concentration down to 0.2 pounds of nitrogen per gallon. If you're trying to apply half a pound of nitrogen to an acre, that's going to be a lot of water. If you're doing three quarters of a pound of nitrogen per acre, that's even more water. So it, it becomes really burdensome and it should basically just be applied in larger amounts when it's raining, if that's the situation you have. If you have irrigation, then just apply at a higher concentration, totally fine, but make sure you rinse it off after. Like right after you apply it, get that irrigation kicked on to at least rinse off the grass blades. How I am going about spraying, I like to mow first so I've got stripes. I usually do setting one on, you know, this stripe here. So I, I'm going to hold my sprayer lower to the ground. Then setting three, I'm going to do double stripe. Then setting three, I'm going to, these are triples, so I'd be right here. And then a third of the way, a third of the way, 
and right here, right here as I walk back and forth and back and forth. So that's it. But the main thing is just don't spray too high of a salt concentration. Don't leave that on your grass. You can spray as high of a salt concentration as you want as long as you rinse it off after or rain rinses it off. Zero one inches of rain is the equivalent of six gallons of water. So you can apply a lot of nitrogen with six gallons of water. You could apply up to basically a pound and a quarter of nitrogen. One way you can support this channel is just try to watch to the end, even if I'm telling you things you already know. That's gonna get the video in front of more people, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, if you need any grass seed, right now I only have perennial rye, seed-boss.com. Try to get fescues added prior to the fall seeding window. If you're, you know, dying to buy grass seed, fescues I expect to have done, or at least tall fescue. Uh, if you need KBG or fine fescue, I just recommend Ryan Knorr. Tends to have pretty nice seed. I was trying to get to all of them before the fall seeding, but I think I'm really, realistically, I don't know if I'm going to get to all grass families before fall. Um, it might be next spring before I get to uh, fine fescue and Kentucky bluegrass because I do want to be nice and thorough on the analysis and I think turf type tall fescue is uh, the most important to do. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, check out Seed-Boss if you want to look at perennial rye. I recommend getting on a full-size screen like a computer and that's going to be easier to look at the analysis. If you can look at only one column on NTEP, look at quality. Don't worry about the color. Uh, this is technically really highly rated for color. This is like top 5%. I usually reference that bush over there on the right uh, for my color. And here's kind of the rest of my neighborhood. Just to kind of give you an idea. That lawn right here has a lot of nitrogen down. This I don't think has nitrogen down. So the color's pretty good over there. Maybe leave a comment. I'll try to address it on a future video. All right, thanks for watching.